So you may, might be wondering why I'm sitting with Captain Will over here, old Captain Sweetwater. And uh, yes, those are some monster deer on the wall. Absolutely. We'll take a look at those in a minute. We're not going hunting. We're not going fishing. I'm actually just staying the night here to fly out to California tomorrow morning and pick up a pointing griffin puppy. All right. Will Hale. Nine, ten, eleven pointers. Non typical. Non typical. Is that a first place blue ribbon? First place blue ribbon. Man, look at that guy. This camera does not do it justice either. That's second place. Typical eight point archery category. I gotta put a beer with this for like perspective because it does it just doesn't do it justice. But GoPro the fish eye. The 2017 collection. Four of them in one year. Look two hunting guy. seasons. Wow. Beautiful deer, guys. Y'all are having a having standards a heyday. Standards went through the roof. Yeah. Yeah, standards went through the roof. We hunt hard. Sit free. Hunt the wind. Although, hunt the wind is a joke in Virginia because it swirls. I know, right? <laughs> There's no wind direction. It's just from every direction. North, south, east, west. Beautiful wind today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Heading from Richmond International to Atlanta. From Atlanta to Sacramento, California. We're going to be heading out to Olive Hills Kennels to pick up our Griffin. And also check out their sister company, which is uh, Quail Point Hunt Club. Can't wait to check this out. It's going to be cool. Made it to Atlanta on time. Now for the long haul straight across the country. to say first impressions I'm pleasantly surprised because all I see below me is farmlands and flooded rice fields that are full of snow geese. This is definitely not the concrete jungle I was expecting of California. Alright so I made it to Sacramento. It's uh, 10 30 local time. And about to get scooped up and taken to the game preserve, pick up my pooch. Well, at least uh, check them out today. I'm going to let them stay at the kennel for the night and uh, pick them up in the morning. So I don't have to keep in the hotel room with me. But super stoked, man. Cannot wait to meet this dog. All right, so I'm out here in crazy California. And uh, got to go over and meet the puppy today. Little Mr. Rip and uh play with him and it's been fun got to hang out for a little while i'm back at the hotel now i'm gonna be champ checking into uh hampton in here and uh gonna eat dinner with the family uh that's that raises these puppies and get to meet them and then i'm gonna go hang out at the clubhouse tomorrow before i go back to the airport try to run some puppy energy off but so far super cool super excited to get this dog home when choosing a hotel, I always pick a place that's got a pretty good breakfast. Get you a good start for your day. Man, it's a foggy morning out here in California this morning. Holy cow. You barely see those taillights down there. Hopefully this don't affect the flight out of here. We'll see. Day two, heading to Quail Point Hunt Club. This place is beautiful. They have an enormous skeet range. Looks like an 18 hole golf course and some excellent upland bird hunting. Take this. Look at that out. I got a bunch of pheasants. Yeah, here's so we got the pheasant. Chuckers on top. We got the chucker up here. We plant roosters and hens out here. Okay. If you find yourself in Woodland, California's area, definitely take a stop off at Quail Point Hunt Club. This place has some beautiful land some super friendly staff. It's just a really, really cool experience. The facility also includes three different shooting ranges out to about half mile. Rip was definitely not pleased to be in a carrier cross country, but he did really well 
And he only whined a couple times I when know. I had to take him out at security checkpoint. Tell me about it, Rip. If you plan to fly cross country with a dog, or anywhere with a puppy for that matter, a couple things to remember. They have to be at least 10 weeks old. They have to be under 20 pounds with the carrier included. And there's an additional $125 fee with Delta. From my research, I think Delta is the only airlines right now with COVID restrictions that still allows you to fly with a puppy. Being my first time doing anything like this, I was really worried and anxious about the whole process. I have to say, hats off to everyone at Delta. You guys did a phenomenal job. Everyone was friendly. TSA was friendly. The whole process was very, very easy to do. From the flight attendants to the pilots, everyone was excited to meet Little Rip. One piece of advice, I would definitely recommend calling Delta and booking your tickets rather than trying to buy them from Expedia or some other online website. That way you know that everything's been handled correctly and there's no concerns when you go to board with your new puppy. All right, so officially made it. There he is. Hey buddy, you ready to get out of there yet? All right, we made it. You can see Richmond, uh, there's Richmond Airport. And we're back home. We got Rip Dog with us. The newest member of the outdoor movement. Right there. Say hi, Rip. Say woof, woof, woof. Good boy. Good boy, look at that pretty dog. 